We are just outside here, the Impact Arena, the site of three world-class badminton events at the moment. We're into the second one at the Toyota Thailand Open here inside the Impact Arena. It's court two. As you can see, all the results uh, that have happened so far today. That's the heading into the uh, round of 16. And uh, there have been a few scalps along the way, most noticeably Angus Unka Long and Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, the seventh and fifth seeds respectively in the men's singles. That's opened things up spectacularly, hasn't it? Going into the quarterfinals and beyond. No surprises there with the men's doubles at the top, but we just had a men's doubles result here, uh, which perhaps was a bit of a surprise that Ong and Tio found it pretty tough against Christiansen and Noor. They've won through, and now it's women's doubles with Mailund and Ron versus Kitarakul and Pajongjai, the seventh seeds. And there's uh, the bracket at the moment. The winner of this match could play either Kim and Kong or Effler and Hertrick in the quarterfinals. On court two, women's double, Emily McGillun and Freja Ran from Denmark. And so the players come out. Versus Jongkon Pan Kitti Tarakun and Rawinda Pratongjai from Thailand. Ampar Wahyana from Indonesia. Service Jud Reza Roshan Omid from Iran. So let's tell you a little bit more about these uh, two sets of players then. Mylund is. Uh, a European champion in the women's team in 2020, uh, along with her partner, Freya Ron. They've been playing together since 2016 and have won five tournaments together, five women's doubles tournaments. Jonkolpan and Rawinda have uh, achieved uh, a fair bit. Suderman uh, bronze medals, third place, both of them in 2017 and 2019. Uber Cup uh, silver. Never met each other before. That was in uh, 2018. Asian Games bronze medal in 2018. And uh, two third place finishes in the Asia Team Championships. So. And four gold medals in the Southeast Asian Games 2015, two in 2017, and 2019. So uh, they will probably go into this, and also, of course, they're the seventh seeds. They would be the favourites here. Normally, Mailund, 20 years of age, 166 centimetres. 41st, her highest is uh, 40th with Freya. And uh, that was achieved a year ago. Freya uh, 20168 from uh, the capital Copenhagen. They're here because they beat the Taipei Kodapap and Sujai Prapa Parat. Uh, fairly straightforward in just under half an hour. 21 10, 21 13. Now let's look at the ties. Taller player there, Jokul Pan Kitrak Rukul. She's 27, 11th in the world. Her highest ranking with uh, Prachongjai is 6th. Uh, that was achieved in July of 2018. Rawinda is 27, 164. And uh, also a local favourite here in Bangkok. And keep saying, of course, what a pity it is that 
The fans, unfortunately, cannot be here with us. Well, it was a, a very straightforward battle. It was right here on court two, wasn't it, yesterday? John Kopan and Rawinda beating Ramadanti and Sugiarto. 21-11, 21-10. Had no real issues there. There was some heavy hitting from the Indonesians, but it didn't seem to cause them too many issues. Wakiana from Indonesia is the umpire. And he's joined by Reza Roshanomid, the service judge. If we look back at the previous results Ready in the women's play. doubles and the Yonex Thailand Open last week, well, Prajong Jai and Kitararukul did so well to get to the finals. They lost to Grecia Poli and Apriani Rahayu 15-21, 12-21. They dearly want to go one step better. They've learnt a lot from it. As I said, that's why they are really one of the big favourites here in this week's tournament. Fry around. And uh, Mylund. How did they perform? Well, they lost in the first round last time out to a tough pair, Lee So Hee and Shin Seung Chan. 10-21, 17-21 last week. So the ties certainly will feel mm. they have got a distinct advantage here and that they are going to be... Ladies and gentlemen, really have a good chance of right. advancing. Jong Kopan, Kiti Harakul, and Rawinda Prajong Jai, Thailand. And on my left, Amali Magaloon and Frijaravan, Denmark. Amali Magaloon to serve to Jongol Pan Kidiharaku. Lohol, play. Service hey. over. One love. Brisk start. Happy for the ties. <laughs> Service over. One out. Service over, two, one. Yeah, there is power from the ties, but they tend to like to place more than anything else. The unforced errors, something the Danes will have to just watch here. Service ball call too high. Service over. Too high from uh, John Kulpan. Three. They'll need a little bit of luck. Going over the net, Three. that's fine. Oh. Every little bit will help, of course. No 
Nicely done by Meerlund. There was that huge gap Four. to be exploited. Three. And they've taken the lead early on. Early days here, and both trying to size each other up, especially as they haven't played each other before. Good power from Meilund. Five, three. They last played together in the All England last year, the Danes. Uh, the uh, ties, excuse me. Four, nice five. long rally that one and again it's about just outsmarting the opposition Chong Chai and Kete uh, Tarakul have played together since 2013 they've won seven titles together Meilund have, and Ron have played since 2016 and won five titles together No question of not understanding each other. Five, all. Oh. Some instructions from the coach at the moment. Longest rally by far, and Rowinda eventually puts that out. Six, five. Well, they're battling for every point here, these pairs. No one able to assert themselves just yet. Two long rallies and two unforced errors Seven, from the ties. Five. And that just shows how tough this is going to be. Get ready. Yeah, just trying to change it up a little bit, didn't she? John Colpan.
eight, five. Well, the unforced error is on both ends at the moment. Six. Under no pressure Eight. there. And that just adds to the frustration, doesn't it, of the players? Eight. Good power there from Seven. John Colpan. We were disappointed with the way they played against uh, Grecia Poli and Apriani Rahayu. They said they did not play; they did not play as they planned, and they in fact ended up playing their opponent's way, playing into their hands. And they said that it was difficult to fight back, but they were very happy to be in the final. And of course, that Thailand is hosting a Super 1000 tournament for the first time. Myland puts it away with ease. Service over, nine, seven. They were very proud of their achievements, they said, the ties. And they said that they have to accept that the opponents have prepared well and controlled and pressured them, so they will have learnt from that. Oh! They'll take the points any way they can. Service over, eight, nine. Service over, ten. As we said, no one is able to run, start Nine. running away with this and impose themselves. And in terms of consecutive points, four so far is the best by the Danes. by John Colpan. Very tight though right now. Play. Oh. More intense, more intensity from the ties and that means they go into the break with a very slender one point lead, they're 11 10 up.
Play. Well, that was there to be put away, wasn't it, by John Culpunt? 12, 10. And she did it very well. And now, this is the biggest lead they've had. It's a couple of points, but it's vital. A couple of points. Yeah, it was a miss hit, wasn't it? Brown couldn't Up quite get that over. Right hit the back. top of a racket, which is why it ballooned up. And it was easy then to put away by John Colpunt. She knew it immediately. Slumping there. Nice attack of the serve. That's what just put them on the front foot on that point 11, in that rally. 13. Got to get the serves right. That is a, just the cheapest point to give away, isn't it? Oh. Just in. And now, 11. as far as this match context goes, it's a fairly imposing lead, given how tight things are. And this is their best run at the moment, the ties. these longer rallies continue you get the feeling that the tires are quite happy with that because they're beginning to win most of them again very nice power there from the ties no! 17 11. Quick tolling. Yeah, they've had a good run of points here. on the trot that they had just there since the break they've been very good the ties and now the Danes have got to try and pin them back We were saying that these longer rallies are proving to be a bit of a problem now for the Danes. Ah. 
Nicely done by Rowinda. Well, they need to get the points, don't they, the, the Danes right now, why London round, because the Tigers have built up a good head of steam, and really it's now or never to stay in this first game. Fourteen, nineteen. Still a lot more required. Number of unforced errors, just giving 15, the Danes a ray of light. 19. Nicely done, Mayerlund. Great deception from her 16, in the backcourt. For all intents and purposes, it did look like she was going to smash it. Disguised it very nicely indeed. This is a good run from them. Starting to put pressure on the ties now. This is 17, the best run of points 19. so far in the match and it's in the game and it's coming at a perfect time. It's five in a row. And it was looking very comfortable, wasn't it, for the ties? Important time, really important time to break Service that run. Over. And the ties have given 20, themselves three game, game points. Point 1 through another one of those long rallies and they had to work hard it looked like they were cruising towards the end of that first game but the Danes had other ideas pushed them all the way but in the end John Corpan and Rowinda have taken that first game 21-17 
to til tre dueller kun, så skal vi væk fra det, fordi ellers så, 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 så de læser de, de læser det også på det også. Nu er det vigtigt, at vi kommer ud her, og vi bevæger os hele tiden. Hvis vi lægger noget ud i siderne, 9 ud af 10 gange, så vil de prøve at baske dem op i hjørnerne, ikke? altså flytte os hårdt. Ikke? Så det skal vi virkelig være klar til. Og tilbage offensiven bliver ved med at arbejde. Nu skal vi se, hvordan det er at være herovre. Det siger jeg flot. Got to 20 seconds. Got to 20 seconds. Second give. Love all. Plenty Play. of positives for the Danes. Can they use that to push them ahead here in this second game? Oh. One love. Service over, one all. They'll be delighted with that. Two, nice winner. They've shown they've got the power. This time it was Rawinda. It's normally been John Kolpan who delivers those sort of shots. Ah. Yeah. Hey. Service over. Two, off. Similar pattern to the first at the moment with uh, little separating the two. what we were saying about those longer rallies which the ties have tend to 
one so far. Able to win those. You can just see the frustration on Milan's face. that pattern that we spoke of. You know, frustrating the opponents. And dragging it out as long as possible. Also, just getting in each other's way a little bit there. And they look a bit nonplussed at the moment, don't they, the Danes? Service over for five. Service over six four. Again and again, it's the happened. Same. same sort of thing, with a bit of s luck thrown in as well. Thank you. Once again, no one really able to run away with it at this stage. Yeah, yeah. You can see that the frustration is there, isn't it, from Ron and Merlund in terms of playing their shots. More, more so than the ties, that's for sure. Service over, five, seven. And that is better from the Danes. Those are the kind of shots that would really annoy, wouldn't they? Maryland going for it. Not quite panning out for her. 
That was the one that she really ought to have put away. Three point lead now for the ties. Nine, five. That will just add to the uh, general feeling that things are not going their way at the moment. Uh, perhaps the Danes might feel it's about time some of the luck goes nine. the other way. That's well, about Sevi as loud as John Corpon has been Ten, six. in this match. The long rally goes the Danes' way. Last uh, couple of points. Right. They've just seemingly turned things in their favour. No! But the tyres go into the eight. interval in with all. a three point lead. And it still could be anyone's match here. It's 11 8 in the second game. Just out there Nine, for 11. Jack or punt. Went for a very attacking shot there. It's a risky one. Maclun. Service over. 12, 9. Service over. 10, 12. Nicely placed that shot from Ground or oh, Mayulund. To a good position there. Plenty of court to aim at. Oh. That was short. Service over. 13. Time. Yeah. 
Rwanda annoyed, really annoyed with herself. 11, 13. Playing the top of that net. Service over, 14, 11. Good drives near the net in the front court. And then when they tried to switch it up, didn't quite pan out for them. Three point lead now. This is starting to look familiar from the first game. And they're just building on that little by little. You can see the Danes are just trying to switch things up a little bit in these rallies, and quite often it hasn't panned out for them when they try to play little angles and different shots, looking for gaps. in no doubt in between the two players They try to force the issue there, the Service ties. Over. And that might have just given a little ray of light 12, to the Danes. 16. Yeah, that was a desperate attempt to get that over, wasn't it, 13, from Rowinda? 16. Oh. Oh. Service over. 17, 13. Just out. Um, we were talking over. earlier about the longer rallies going in favour of the ties. 14, that seems 17. to have turned a little bit in the last few points. Three. This is a hard go. battle, isn't it? Every point is being scrapped away. Roberts 
Service over. 18, 14. Inching towards the target here. Rawinda and John Kulpan. And the uh, Danes are at that point where they now have to scrap for everything, cannot let the Thais get any more points. So this over, 15, 18. Service over, 19.15. Now, almost there, the ties. Match point now, they've got five of them, the ties, to wrap this up. Ah! And the ties have won this. Wasn't easy at all. And they had to scrap away and the Danes Mets played their part in this, Golpan, but it wasn't at all and Pra Jongte, for the seeds, they had to work. The scoreline may not quite reflect 15. that, but it was a good old battle, and in the end, the quality shone through. So many congratulations to Jongkolpan, Kite Arakul and Rawinda Pra Jongjai, who beat Amli, Mayalund and Fire Raun 21-17, 21-15.